it's been one of the most successful careers in Irish racing, you know, nine times champion jockey and um, you know, highlights the Irish Derby twice, the English Derby, what, what would rank up there for you? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously, you know, obviously winning your own Derby in, in the home crowd is very special, to do it twice was great, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's a, the Epsom Derby is the pinnacle and, uh, you know, it was a race I always wanted to win and it was a struggle, you know, it's very hard to even get a decent ride in the race, never mind be competitive, you know, so, um, so look, uh, to, to, for, for Harzan to come along at a time in, in my career when I really appreciated it, I think that was, uh, that, that was my greatest day, you know, and uh, I was very fortunate to ride a lot of good horses, but, you know, uh, winning the Ascot Gold Cup was always, was very special as well, but if I was to put my, my uh, to pick one, it would have to be the Epsom Derby. Yeah, I taught that, and, uh, you know, that was on the, you've had a 19-year relationship with Derma Wells, you know, you're a stable jockey for 19 years, you're there a couple of years before that probably, but, uh, that was your crown of glory as a team and I think from the outside looking in as a relationship it came down to you whether that horse would run in the day you know there was a drama with a shoe and was he going to run or was he lame or not lame you know and it was you were legged up and it was up to you to make a decision at the start if he ran or not and yeah. I think that illustrates how close the trust between you and Dermot was. I think so you know and it's something I'm very proud of is that you know you can hold down a job for that length of time and obviously there was great understanding between ourselves. The first couple of years were tough I mean uh, you know uh, it, it wasn't just plain sailing and uh, you know it, it, it took a time to, 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 to just gel into the role and uh, but eventually I think after that initial couple of years we had great understanding of each other and I knew exactly what he wanted and and uh, yeah then as you said uh, you know like the final words in the uh, in the paddock uh, at Epsom was and his highness was there and it was actually just the three of us at one stage and he just said you know if you're not happy with this horse at the start you know it's, it's your call to take him out but thankfully he floated to the start and uh, and as they say the rest is history.